Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another Route 24 video. This is a continuation of our Lost Street playthrough on the PS4. If you missed the last part, I'll put a link in the description. You can go ahead and check that out and um, I guess we'll be all caught up. But basically, we are just kind of taking care of that favor that the Royal Military wants us to do. They basically have a problem here with the Lost and they need us uh, to take care of it. And that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah, go ahead, check it out. Uh, maybe I'll put some other links to some other videos in there. Go ahead, check those out if you have time. Or if you're super bored or whatever. Coming back from the Christmas vacation and the New Year's vacation as well. Um, hope you had a wonderful time doing whatever you did. And if you didn't, then it's still the beginning of 2018. Go ahead and turn it around and make it a good year. I know in most countries, I mean like all of my friends, Pretty much, they all went home for Christmas. Um, I went home too, actually, so I wasn't even... Uh, I didn't do much, honestly. But that's alright, that's kind of what Christmas Vacation is about. 2018 seems like... Um, yeah, I think 2017 was a super good year for gaming in general, like the Switch. Uh, I think nailed it with some of its execution. Uh, had really good exclusives for Zelda 1 Game of the Year. Um, from a bunch of publications. And what, what else did we get in 2017? Nier. Uh, Automata was one of my favorites. That was the 2017 game. Right in the beginning, like in February or something. There was also the English release of Persona 5. That was a personal favorite of mine as well. What else did I play? I played... Uh, I finally got around to Danganronpa, the B3. Uh, I did play Ease 8, which was also a pretty fun game. Yeah, 2017 was really good for games, and I hope 2018 uh, kind of continues that trend. I'm not quite sure what is coming out. Like, right away, I do know Desidia, Desidia. Uh, and team will be out in a couple weeks. Uh, I think next week, actually. So really, really, really soon. I'll probably pick that up and uh, do a quick playthrough for the channel and see how that plays. I've actually never played a Dissidia game before. Like, uh, there's two on the PSP and then there's the arcade version here in Japan. And outside of like the tutorial, I really haven't played any of them. So yeah, I'm pretty, pretty curious. I'll pick it up. Uh, maybe we'll do a video or two, see how that is. Alright, so basically it looks like... Um, what's going on here? Alright, so this is... You know, like, yeah, as they mentioned, these are the ruins from the older... The older race, and we don't really know what's gonna happen here, so we should kind of be on our guard. Uh, Locke's just like, yeah, I'll, I'll be careful. What is this exactly? Sorry, I really wasn't paying attention. It says there is some special trick to it, so it's not going to move. I'm sure that'll be important later. I mean, it's it's too big and too red to not have any significance. What is going on here? All right, so that's probably the loss that the uh, royal military wants us to take care of. Just clearly a bridge or a staircase or something. All right. So we can't progress because of the lost. Yeah, so Van says Vaughn. Van Vaughn says that it might be difficult to actually bring this back, even with like Kanata's ability here. Uh, why is that? We won't know until we try. Uh, think about it. This is different from like when the town was lost. These are ruins, so there's no one that lives here. Um, yeah, it'll be difficult to get, like, thoughts, right? Usually we would go around, we would talk to people, uh, get some hints, and then use that to bring the loss back. But, since, like, there's no one around, we can't talk to anyone. Okay, I guess there's a monster here. 
Guardian of some kind, it looks like. That was easier than expected. Oh, one of the drop items that we got from this guy, it says like memories of like a road or memories of something. So I think we we just got a memory but that way, like without talking to anyone. Yeah, so Luminous just like, is that like, was that monster holding a memory? Alright, I think this is just that, that weird um, flashback from before. Yeah, so if you don't remember, basically he, he had this dream with this, with the Lost King saying that well, everything is made of, of memories. Uh, if something loses, like, like thoughts or memories, then they kind of lose their own form. All right, so memories come from thoughts. Right, and because there are people we can kind of bring, we can bring these, like, stuff back from the lost. Alright, so it looks like Kanata has some idea here. Um, so this memory... Alright, so it's not that the, the monster had was holding a memory, but rather... Oh my god, this is complicated. Um, so like thoughts from these people here, the they changed form. So it's not like the monster was holding a memory, but let's see here. Yeah, so basically the memory for some reason changed and became a monster. Uh, so if you think of it that way, Yeah, so once the me monsters like disappear, then it just leaves the memory behind. Alright, so Locke's complaining that this discussion is going uh, over his head. It's complicated for him. So the true form of memories, or so the true form of uh, monsters are just memories. Okay, uh, Locke's saying here like. Yeah, this is too complicated for him. He's basically saying, like, stop it. And please, like, my head hurts. Alright, so basically, yeah, just to sum it up, we need to clear out this area of monsters, gather some memories, and we should be able to bring the bridge back, I think. So that's it. Um, pretty simple, I think. Easy peasy, right? Just clear monsters. Uh, yeah, this is a lot of text to go through, but basically that's it. Um, it looks like uh, memories of these people somehow remained and it turned into monsters. What do we need? Alright, we got two of those, like the road memories, and then we're going to need memories of a staircase. Um, wait, we have enough. We can just do it now. <laughs> yeah? Also, memories of a staircase sounds like a really bad romance book. Yeah, that was it. He's like, I like, I wasn't expecting to just have the memories on hand already. I guess from the monsters that we beat before. But yeah, now we can continue on. The uh, what's what's up? What's up here? The door that auto opens. You know, like when you watch like movies or whatever, and there's like um. A staircase or a bookcase that opens by itself. I always wanted to know how they do that. How is that even possible? Alright. What do these guys say? Things are going well. 
yeah, it's just like it's us here, so we can continue on. These guys are kind of being, they're kind of being like an asshole right now. They're like, you know, I hope, you know, you'll be able to, to lead us further. Because they can't do anything, right? They need us to help them out. Uh, Locke's like, if it weren't for Kanata, you know, they'd be stuck. Like, they're kind of being ungrateful here. And he's like, I want to like, I want to hit him or something. I want to beat him up. Fine, lock. I'm not bothered by it. Yeah, we don't have time to to waste on like unnecessary troubles here. Uh, but doesn't it bother you? Like, doesn't get on your nerves when you hear that kind of stuff? Uh, the reason we came here was not to fight with them. Like, I want to help people that have been, like, affected by the loss. I want to make sure, you know, it doesn't hurt anyone else. This is just one step towards that. So let's just, um, take care of that. Let's focus on that. Uh, Locke's like, Kanata, you're, you're too nice. You're too nice to people. You're also serious, and you're... Nice? I don't even know how to translate that on the fly. Uh, Kawayaka is like refreshing or something like that, which it's not really how you... We won't, we wouldn't call someone refreshing, I think, in English, but it's kind of like, it's like you're a nice guy or something. Luminous, like, uh, are you praising him or are you like berating him? It, it sucks to be like made fun of by this nice guy. Uh, thanks, Locke. You're a nice guy. Uh, sh shut up, Kanata. It's it's like you're like the nice guy. You're the nice one here. All right. <laughs> okay. Are like the number one nice guy contest over? Let's let's head out here. I like Vaughn, he's he's cool. How old like I asked that before, but I have no idea how old Vaughn is. He's definitely older than the rest of the guys though. He's way more level headed. He's also the one he's like the critical thinker in the party, I think. He's like Locke's foil. Older and smarter. Also he's that amazingly deep voice. I like Vani's cool. Right, let's see what this is. Ethers, which are always handy. When you are adventuring. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got a save point and we have some more loss, so I guess we'll just have to kill some more monsters. What do we need for this one? Alright, two more road memories. Alright, that's a pretty good place to take a break though. I think we'll just um We'll take a break here. I'll come. I'll be back with another part, probably in a day or two. I don't know. After some other games. So if you don't want to miss it, keep an eye on the channel. If you like this, you can go ahead and share this with a friend. Maybe, hopefully, they'll like it too. If they're into JRPGs or Japanese games or whatever, anything like that. And uh, while you're still here, want to go ahead and check out some of the other videos I have in the channel. You might find something else that you enjoy. Let me know what you thought. Leave a comment on this video. Mess me on Twitter. All that good stuff. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.